Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a zodiac reading for my water sign. So this is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. And uh, if you want to book me for a personal reading, the link is below in the description box. So you can just go ahead and follow the instructions and book in. Yes, so let's see. I'm sorry you had to wait so long, guys. I really thought I had enough time to get them done last week, and I didn't. I had my birthday. It was now things are back to normal. So here we go. So we're gonna do start with Cancer. We're gonna take a look at your next couple of weeks or so. Also, we have a time to give rather than take. Conclusions are within reach, and that is a new moon in Virgo as well. Um, I want these, don't I? So what do we have? We have it's up to you, Cancer, and be assertive. Okay. So it's up to you and be assertive. All right, let's have a look at your overall energy for the next couple of weeks. Oh, you've got a full moon eclipse there. So we do have an eclipse coming up. We do. We've got the thinking woman here. So yeah, maybe there's just something you feel like you need to make a decision about. Maybe it's something that could affect your business, your money, your stability. Okay, maybe a lot of you are kind of looking outside of yourselves right now. It's a little bit hazy, that one. Um, you know, maybe looking at what other people have, what other people are doing, they're further along than you, or looking at what your ex, you know, maybe they're living their best life and you're like, hey, what's going on? But you guys are heavily focused on your security, your financial security. And, you know, being good, having your wealth in order. And... We've got rigid, we've got self-worth, and we've got vision. So yeah, there could just be something that's kind of tarnishing your vision, okay, in terms of what you believe you um I feel like it's more about what you desire or the type of wealth you want to accumulate and maybe you're kind of feeling like you're not good enough to have that type of money or that lifestyle or whatever it is and so you're kind of seeing maybe you're seeing a lot of people out there doing a lot less and kind of living their dream or whatever so it's kind of getting to you a little bit but they're saying look don't worry you have success okay focus on your confidence on your self-worth right now there's probably just something that you're constantly replaying over and over and over in your mind and it's almost taking on a life of its own. So they're saying you kind of need to back away from that as well and kind of recenter yourself. And yeah, let's see. Let's look at you spiritually. Cancer. We've got initiation spirit. So yeah, you know what? You probably could be feeling like you're just being tested a lot right now. And yeah, and we've got this shadow. So I think a lot of you probably are wanting to hide from a situation right now, bury it deep, okay? But I feel like spirit's saying that they've given you the tools to guide yourself through this process and that you are strong enough to do this. Um, yeah, so I just think, just be aware of... Um, a lot of your insecurities, um, negative things you tell yourself, they're all gonna start to kind of come up and make you feel inadequate or insecure in some type of way with what you're doing. But they're like, mm -mm, don't do that. Spirit's brought you here for a reason. We have a plan. It's just, unfortunately, this thing maybe has arisen and you have to sort it out. Okay. All right, so let's go.
All right, so let's have a look, Cancer. Oh, straight out. We've got Pisces Cancer energy here. Yeah, it just feels like maybe a lot of things here that you've worked hard for, you know, you're kind of wanting to run away from. And there might even be someone else here who's like really got inside your head. You've invested a lot of time in them or love or energy. And, you know, you found out that they betrayed you. They were lying. They were doing things behind your back to hurt you. But I feel like I'm seeing like a lot of this 11-11 flashing up as well. It's like these revelations needed to come out and now they need to be handled accordingly. Yeah, so we have someone here who's kind of paid, sorry, pausing, waiting, trying to figure out what they need to say to you. But, you know, yeah. But again, they just kind of masquerade what it is that they feel or what they really mean. They're a bit of an illusionist. I, I don't know. There's something about them I really just kind of don't trust. They just throw you little bits and pieces. They don't give you much. All right, but with this full energy and three of pentacles, you guys have something new to embrace, okay, with your work. I definitely feel like you're being recognized. Look at that, ace of pentacles. So there's definitely this new opportunity to make more money, to join a place, a company, a group. All right, cancer, let's see. Yeah, and we've got this wish fulfillment here. It's almost like... You want to believe what this person's saying to you, but deep down you know that you can't. And I feel like you're going to walk away from their empty promises. So I feel like maybe that's what these conclusions are in reach, okay? You're going to be able to really draw a line under this situation and feel stronger for it as well. Yeah, we do have this death card here. Someone definitely feels like they're going to put in more effort to stop you from leaving. That's the Seven of Cups. All right, but again, they just cause so much confusion. They tell you one thing, they do another. And really all they're interested in is this Knight of Wands energy, okay? It's just to kind of have you in the bedroom and have you where they want you. Spirit is pulling you through your paces to get you away from this person, okay? This person represents, you know, the dark side of yourself, okay? The lower points that you feel about yourself. This is the reflection that you're looking at when you see this person. You got Pisces, Cancer. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, cancel. Let's have a look. Someone's definitely lurking over you and watching you a lot heavily, though. <laughs> it's almost like they're a bit obsessed. We've got this main male. We've got mature mail, we've got new start, we've got unexpected income. So I feel like they're sort of sending someone in that's new into your life, okay? As well as sort of this old one here or two popping up. See what I mean about someone just really watching you, staring at you? Maybe because they can't speak to you in real life. <laughs> so we've got courthouse, let's see. Yeah, maybe you're going to begin legal proceedings regarding a situation or you're finding out about legal proceedings coming towards you here because you've got a message. Let's have a look, Cancer. Yeah, but we've got occupation and family room, so there's more stability coming for you when it comes to your work. You'll definitely be feeling like you've either got more clients or more orders coming in, whatever it is that you do. You're going to be feeling more solid with your work. Like it's going to be very consistent as well. So that's amazing, isn't it, Cancel? Let's get you some messages here. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want um, and take action. A need for detoxification. We've got, you know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. You've invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Uh, your dreams are fulfilled, hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. This is what we're talking about, okay? So you do, you are deserving of them. There's nothing wrong with wanting the finer things in life. 
Um, let's pull in one of these. Cancer. We have poised. Look at that, just ready to claim it. Ready to claim it, okay. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Let's read prosperity, shall we? You have every reason to feel confident. Everything you need to make your success concrete is now at your disposal. You can take action knowing you are ready to step into your power, into your light and into your service to the world. The direction you're moving in is your destiny. Your soul is smiling with joy as you align with this truth. Amazing. So remember what they're saying here, be assertive and it is up to you. All right. And I'm gonna read you some angel messages here, Cancer. And we have the ocean, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing wound brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean, allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. I love being by the ocean. I love it. Okay, so Cancer, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to Pisces. All right, Pisces, to so check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. This is a general reading. All right, take what resonates, leave the rest alone. Don't force it. Let's all see. Wow, Pisces, we've got your hard work is paying off. And that is a new moon in Capricorn. So well done, Pisces. Hasn't been easy. I feel like you guys have just maintained... You know, you've been consistent. So well done, Pisces. Wow, Pisces, we have big happy changes. Look at that, that's amazing. I'm happy for you. Round of applause for Pisces. Okay, so let's have a look at your overall energy for the next couple of weeks. Wow, we have appreciation and we have cornucopia. Look at that. I feel like you really appreciate yourself, your gift, the benefit you bring to the earth, to your friends, to your family, to your business. It's almost like you're really starting to feel proud of yourself over the next couple of weeks with what you've accomplished, with what you've achieved. Um, even if you, you've looked back and gone, oh, but I don't have this or I, I, I really want this. It's like you're more looking back at, wow, look at all this abundance I've created, all this good fortune, all this good karma that's building up. Because sometimes I feel like it's not about what we get in the material form instantly. It is about the karma that people think about you, feel about you, the people that have, you've helped. It's like it's all just almost been piling up and your angels, what do I call that again? I call that like making a deposit to the spiritual bank, okay? It's been building interest, okay? And they are gonna be paying out shed loads of money towards you, okay? So they really want you to appreciate this moment fully. You deserve it, okay? Don't feel small about this major gain that you're about to get, okay? you It's hard work, all right? You deserve it. Okay, and do, 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 okay. Yes, we've got High Priestess of Spirit. So yeah, you guys are extremely intuitive. You could be spiritual workers, power readers. I mean, whatever it is. All right, I definitely feel like you guys have been taking on a lot of issues and problems from people. All right, but we've got summoning that strength because yeah, look, and we've had some chaos come in. It's kind of made you want to go into your Virgo Hermit energy. It's almost made you want to retreat. Okay, but they're asking you to say, no, look at how far you've come. Look at where you've got to. Anything going on around you, these storms and stuff are there to kind of deter you, to throw you off. This is people's negativity. This is people's jealousy around you, okay? 
This is people trying to tarnish you, break you down in some type of way. But at the end of the day, you've worked extremely hard. You know who you are. You're very accomplished at what you do. And like they're saying, your hard work is paying off. And nobody can really take that away from you. So good for you. Right, let's have a look at you spiritually. So yeah, they're saying it's okay to retreat and just take a, a, some time to regroup. Okay, you're going to have to get out of the way of this storm. But we got the witch's hat. Yeah, you guys, you guys are very spiritual. All right, your intuition is on fire. You are feeling extremely powerful right now. You guys are probably going to be getting so many visions. I definitely feel like you guys are healers. So your goals represent the greater good of human humanity, right? So that's why they're like, yeah, we're going to make sure that you still get these blessings and things that you want. We've got cleansing. So there is a situation that you probably have to deal with. It's something you probably have to face. Um... But also the judgment and shame and stuff that might come um, surrounding that, they want you to release that as well. That's not yours. It doesn't belong to you. It's what other people are imposing on you, okay? Easier said than done, I know, but you can do it. You can do it. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, let's have a look, Pisces. Okay, let's see. Six of Pentacles, show me the money. Especially of a time where you're dealing with probably losing a love, saying goodbye to a love, you know, feeling some regret, guilt, whatever it is. It's almost like your emotions are being depleted from a past situation. But look at that with the sun and the Six of Pentacles. I mean, let it rain, <laughs> okay? Let it rain on you. <laughs> Yeah, so that you do feel like, you know, there's some anxiety, there's some stress here, but it's okay. There is definitely someone, I feel like, who really does appreciate the connection they have with you. I feel like they had to separate from you for their own reasons, but this person is reaching out to you. Okay, there's a few, there's a, I would say, wow, there's a few sort of coming... Wow, as I say it, a lot of the kings are falling out here as well. All right, there's definitely people here who just wanted to sort of be fun or have fun with you, but they're kind of looking at the situation like, no, actually, I'd like to win and have this person. So I definitely feel like you're going through a... What's the word? When, is it when they... Um... You're, you're out with the old and you're in with the new, okay? Some, a couple might make it through the net. The rest of them, I feel like you're just kind of clearing out. You're having a restructure, okay? <laughs> of, you know, the masculines or the feminines in your life. But you do have justice here as well. Yeah, and then I do feel like you guys are going to take a time out. You're going to take a break. I feel like a lot of things are going to be very stressful for you coming up, very emotional for you as well. So they're saying it's okay to kind of retreat and just take that moment, all right? Because there is something here that needs your attention and it's justice. So there's something coming towards you that you have to handle. You have to face it. You have to deal with it. But don't worry, because everything else around you is going exactly how it should be. So we've got Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, Capricorn there. All right. Pisces, let's take a look. We have a new beginning for you. Occupation, look at that, lovely. And we just have someone here who's just kind of watching you grow, all right? Someone definitely wants to come and gift you something because they're like watching you all the time. Someone definitely watches you at work a lot. Someone here could also be married, all right? But you're getting this message, oh, message of great fortune. You're moving on up. We've got a wealthy man here as well who feels like, oh, you know, 
Is it is it really set in stone? Is it over, over? So I definitely feel like you're just rounding up a lot of things, okay? I really feel like your life is moving on to bigger and better things. So you're just almost tying up these loose ends. You do also here are coming up as the privileged lady. All right, and if there's any legal situations around you as well, they're saying you've got sudden wealth with that. Yeah, some of you here could also be moving. If you want to, the, it's, uh, the opportunity is there for you to move. Even if it's for a short space of time, you can do it. All right, let's see. Pisces. We have the sun. Life is wonderful. Fry through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. And we have justice. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. We've got two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. And we've got prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. You go, Pisces. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Nice. Lovely job, Leah. Okay, and let's read you some guidance, Pisces, and then we will move on. Oh, Treasure Island. Yes, Treasure Island. That sounds good. Ooh. Okay, we have the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. Let's go to prosperity. At this time, you can be confident that success is yours. Your ideas are all hitting the mark and you're in a true manifestation period when you will see evidence of the seeds of prosperity you planted in the past. The appearance of this card in a reading indicates that your dreams and aspirations align with the concrete signs of prosperity in the world of form. This is a very auspicious and fortunate time for business. Creative projects will flourish as inspiration strikes. Share your wealth with others too. Generosity and gratitude should lead you now. Amazing. Let's pull your little angel message, Pisces, before we go. Bless you with the angels. We've got time to go. The sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. And then we have assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. Love it. Okay, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. That was amazing reading for you. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Pisces, Lies, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, this is going to be your general reading for the next couple of weeks. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, at Venus signs. And if you want to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's have a look, Scorpio. We have hold your vision. Okay, so don't lose sight of the bigger picture or the final goal. And we have if you believe and we have ask your angels. Okay. So yeah, I, I think this is more about you probably believing in yourself, your skills, your abilities in this situation. Or maybe you're just feeling a little bit alone. Yeah, we got fledging, but there's something, there's a desire inside you that needs to take that next leap. But I just think maybe, you know, you're not really 
wanting the change. Okay, you feel quite planted and rooted where you are. But I maybe what they're saying as well is to try and get into some type of meditation. All right, because there is something here they need you to release. And maybe it is, you know, achieving something or being with someone. And they're saying you kind of need to just let things flow. Almost let go a little bit or release your attachment to an outcome. Let's look at your energy. Whoa. Yeah, we got indecision. So it's almost like for you, we've got the world and then, yeah, then we've got the garden and the gate. So it's like you're trying to, you want to leave the situation, but at the same time, it's, I, I feel like I said, I feel like it's what you, you're rooted to. That is your foundation. That is your stability. And, you know, you, maybe you feel like you're just kind of making a wrong decision. Again, this could be love. This could be in career as well. All right, but I feel like a situation has ended. It's closed out. You've seen the good in it. You've seen the bad in it. And it's like, okay, now what? But like I said, I feel like there is an end in here that has taken place. But maybe you're refusing to kind of let go or see it for what it is. All right, Scorpio. We have fertility and we have autumn. Oh. Hold on, guys. But we do have summer. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see. So maybe this was well, you know, you were planning to do this. Maybe you were planning to have a baby with somebody or kind of set up and create that home. Again, you kind of saw what this person was really about, the truth in it. Maybe you found this out in sort of autumn or maybe within the summer, yeah. Or even in between those months, there was a change. This could also be, again, the birthing of a new idea project. I definitely feel like there's new offers that are going to be coming towards you because you've got unexpected income here. You've got great fortune. You know, a lot of you could have purchased a house or you have to sell a house now because something didn't work out. I feel like they're saying by summer, a lot of things are going to be a lot better for you as well, okay? So I think they just like work towards that, please. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so maybe even for a lot of you, you've kind of had to have taken that time off work, maybe for Ill, um, illness or to take care of somebody else or because whatever personal sort of situation you kind of had going on. But maybe you've had this time for reflection. You know, you almost don't want to go back into the same quality of life that you had before. So there is this indecision. For some of you, you could be married to this person. I just feel like the type of vision of future you want for yourself, it just doesn't really involve this person anymore. And I feel like when it comes to work, there's definitely an offer here of partnership. More business, more money, more contracts, etc. They are saying to kind of keep a lot of this kind of quiet as well. So if some of you are just trying to regain that money, that strength, the assets in order to leave, they are saying you are going to be able to do that. You will be victorious. Ask your angels for support. Okay, you are extremely intuitive. They are speaking to you. They are guiding you. All right, and they really want you to just hold this vision. It's almost like there are going to be people that are just dotted along your path over the next few weeks that make you see things differently and that kind of give you little ways out of your situation or offers. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, 
Capricorn. I like Scorpio. Yeah, we've got change. We've got something coming up where you're going to be moving on. Moving on from it, especially, yeah, if this is resulting in a home. And we've got occupation here, child, new start, journey, yeah. And we do have a message of concern, I feel like, coming in involving family or someone feels like they're trapped somehow. But legal proceedings are about to start with that as well. You will be in a position to help someone in your family or a close friend. Maybe they're going to be going through some type of divorce as well. It's weird. You also almost like you'll be able to support each other. They don't really want you to look back or especially look back in anger. They just want you to keep moving forward. Summer's going to be a very good time for you. We have, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. A spiritual quest. And then we have, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. You have strength, strength and grace through kindness and self-confidence, forgiveness. We have an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. And we have, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. It's not a bad time at all. Okay. And let's get you some guidance <clears throat> so Scorpio you have yin so this is about your feminine energy let's see we have the feminine principle letting someone else make the first move gathering information taking in cues the art of conscious allowing Let's go to protection. Do you have trouble receiving? You stop the flow of abundance when you continually insist upon being the giver. You can't always lead, always give, always teach. You must be the student, the open vessel, and the one who receives the gift, the gift, gesture, or an offer, or offer in equal measure. Open up and let love, life, abundance, and spirit fill you without demand or expectation, just receive the bounty that is yours. So yeah, don't let too much pride get in the way when these helpful people do wanna pop up and help you and support you and stuff. Like really accept it and don't feel like you need to give something in return either. Uh, oh, uh, angel message, Scorpio, darling, sorry. Notice the signs that, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me today. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.